Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So. Yeah, we, uh, we lived in several little states down there. Not, I think oh, only 12 different states. Wow. And, More uh, than me. <laughs> wow. Well, we, uh, we we different follow a different kind of work. I did when I was younger. I had a little more ambition then. But I done everything. I kind of missed you someplace. Yeah. Yeah, that's the uh, things that I did for a living. Well, you've been all over the place. Hmm. That is something. <laughs> Oklahoma and Texas. I didn't know they had much fishing in Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. Streams is full of fish. I was there for basic training, so I wasn't there for fun. I had friends said, oh, yeah, I'd love to bring my wife back here and go on vacation. I said, are you nuts? I don't ever want to come back here again. <laughs> well, I, uh, we fish for a living. Mm. Fished and trapped. Wow. But uh, we caught tons of fish. Mm. We had hook nets and fish lines too. Mm. Get it all then. It was a good industry for you then. I caught a turtle one time that just cut his head off right on his neck, right up and close. Oh, wow. And he's big enough, just his head weighed four pounds. Wow. Wow, that's huge. Those little things, when they get up like that, they just snap a finger off, just like nothing, if they get a chance. Yikes. The head's that big around, mm. and uh, you poke a stick in their mouth, and then they'll just snap a pretty big stick. Wow. I see here that wow. you have on the bottom of your list, made some moon in Oklahoma, Colorado, <laughs> And it's just whoopee! <laughs> yeah, well, we've manufactured it in both places. <laughs> That's great. What did you make it out of? Oh, you generally use corn. Yeah. Corn meal. Mm -hmm. If you're going to make corn, you can make rye or barley, either one. Mm -hmm. But generally, you make it out of corn meal and then put rye or barley over the top when you set the mash. Hmm. And when it uh, sinks, then's the time you run it and make whiskey out of it. Wow. So it, so it, it lost? Is that what happened? It turns the liquid, the cornmeal and the mash? I mean, when you mash it, do you like add water? and How do you do that? Oh, well, you just, uh, whatever you use to put in the, uh, it's beer first, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When you set it, it's just fresh water and cornmeal and sugar is the alcohol content. Oh, I see. However much sugar you put. Okay. But uh, you have to distill that then. And when you distill it, all you get out of it is just alcohol and leave the oh, I wet see. part out. You get the alcohol out by distill. Mm -hmm. So you have a coil and the steam goes up in there and condenses, and that's how they make whiskey. Hmm. I've always seen the pictures, but I never knew the process. You know, the pictures of the old stills and things, and I well, that, didn't know that's you could a, use it. That's the coil. That has to be in water. That condenses. it. see, when it uh, comes out of your still, it's steam. Yeah. And it goes through that coil in cold water or mm. maybe water with ice in it. Mm. So if the steam condenses into water, mm. or if it isn't water, it's whiskey when it comes out. Wow. I see. And you run up and tell, oh, it tests down maybe to uh, 60 to 80 percent. Wow. And that's uh, one of eighty percent boy, that's pretty powerful. Oh man. <laughs> Not to take a sniff and clear your sinuses. <laughs> you, did, you didn't drink much of that, then you just throw them rocks at your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That's funny. Now it says here you were on the railroad? 
What what kind of job did you do on that? On the railroad. Well, I worked two different places on the railroad. I worked uh, one time we was laying rail and uh, the main line and uh, this putting in uh, taking out lighter rail. I was going in from Sterling to Denver and uh, there's a putting down uh, 112 pound rail. Wow. That is a foot of rail, 112 pounds. That's for the main line of Union Pacific. But we took up rail, I expect, as about 85 pounds and replaced it with that. Now, are you saying it's 85 pounds for every foot? Wow, that's heavy duty stuff. It is. You've seen anvils made out of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, this is, this is the heaviest rail they used as a mainline Union Pacific, 112 pounds to a foot. Did you just stay on the train, or do you guys have, like, camps that move with the rail, or? Well, you mean while you're working on the rail? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, generally you have a group in the town where you are that will work on that railroad, and you get together and drive out. I see. Because you all have a place to consolidate the work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a 